guys, thanks so much for watching. Today I'm sharing a haul from our trip to Italy. Marco and I went to Italy back in October. We spent a week and a half traveling around to a bunch of different places just for a vacation and we had a really great time. Please excuse my voice, I am fighting the cold that will never end. But aside from that, we had a really nice time and it was great to just get away. We saw a lot of different things that we didn't see the last time we went. I've shared a bunch of photos on my blog, so I'll link all those posts down below if you'd like to see them. And without further ado, let's jump into the haul. When we arrived in Italy, they actually lost our luggage, so we didn't have anything for the first day and a half. I hadn't really packed much in my carry-on. I usually do anytime we're going anywhere, but since it was such a long flight and I figured our luggage wasn't going to get lost, um, I had only put electronics and food in my two carry-on bags and basically what I was wearing. So I didn't have anything, so of course we had to do a little bit of shopping. So I went to Zara and I picked up a couple things just so I'd have an outfit for the next day basically. So I picked up this black chiffon lace cami and I thought that this would pair really nicely underneath the suede jacket if it was a little bit warmer and then I grabbed a couple pairs of jeans because I couldn't decide and I ended up wearing these black jeans on the first day that we were there with the black cami and they're just like this paint splattered distressed skinny denim and they've got an undone hem at the bottom. The second set of jeans I picked up were these blue ripped skinnies and they also have this really frayed out bottom hem which I loved. I ended up wearing these multiple times on the trip so they were a great purchase. These are more of like a mid-rise whereas the black ones were a high-rise. That was all that I purchased that was budget friendly because I had my eye on two designer items and I really wasn't sure if I would come home with either of them, but I did, so I was really, really excited about that. The first thing is a pair of shoes, which I have been coveting for like a year and came so close to pulling the trigger on before we went to Italy, but decided not to. And when we got there, they only had one pair left in my size and they are these Golden Goose sneakers. So these are like a denim and suede sneaker, like a little mid top with a zipper on the inside. I love, love, love these. These are my first pair of designer sneakers. I had told Marco that I was looking at some designer sneakers and he kind of gave me the side eye, but I didn't show him a picture. So when I came back to the hotel and I showed him these, he was like, you bought sneakers that look like they're 10 years old. <laughs> But seriously, I love these and I have worn them so much. I wore them so much on our trip. They're super comfortable. I'd say they fit true to size and I really, really love them. So I think they were a great purchase because my style is pretty casual, especially on the weekends. I like to like just dress down and be comfortable. Comfort is key lately. So I'm really excited about these. I will link them down below. I know I've seen some sales every now and again. They'll get like marked down for like a flash sale or whatever. Anytime these do go on sale, I always share them on my Facebook page, sometimes on my blog too. So follow along there if you're interested and you wanted to pick yourself up a pair at some point. The other designer item that I got is a handbag and honestly I was like, I don't know if I really want to do this because it's such a big purchase, but it's the Celine Phantom and I'm so in love. It's so pretty. Honestly, we went to the store and they didn't have the color that I wanted. I wanted like the light blush color, but it's from a couple seasons ago and they had this color and I was like, no, and they had the black and I was like, I want black, but I have the black Givenchy Antigone, which I got on our last trip to Italy, which was my first designer bag. And so I was like, I already have a big black bag. Like I don't really need another another big black bag and we left the store and then um, we traveled to Venice and there was another Celine store there and we went and I saw this one and I was like I don't know like I'm not sure if I want this color but I did want a lighter color anyway I eventually decided that this is the color that I absolutely loved and I wanted I love that it has like the dark gray suede interior and then the out 
side is like Marco and I call this the chameleon bag because in different lighting it looks like a different color like right now it kind of looks taupe sometimes it looks a little bit green but they had a green one so like beside it it didn't look green at all and then other times it's kind of grayish and they call this color ice I think which is like a grayish color but I love the interior this is a huge bag I carried it for the rest of our trip it's great for traveling because you fit so much stuff in it like another purse and like a big scarf and like all your stuff I have been coveting this bag for years like I've always loved this bag which was why I was considering it and I think the biggest thing with being in Italy is that when you purchase designer goods over there or basically anything over $150 in the same day you get 12% back so it's a huge savings like even though it's a big investment and it's a lot of money that you're still spending even like the shoes you get 12% cash back so kind of kind of sways your decision if you're you know looking to splurge and the last thing that I wanted to talk to you about possibly the elephant in the room <laughs> Marco proposed while we were in Italy it was very special so we're engaged we're so 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 excited and we've kind of been keeping it a secret for the past month we haven't shared it on social media so like you're here again here first we're really excited we've been talking about getting engaged for a really long time and like life plans and where we see ourselves in the coming years and so we're really really excited to spend the rest of our lives together we have not started wedding planning at this point we're just enjoying being engaged so I really wanted to share that with you guys because we were so excited and it happened in Florence in Italy at the top of this um, lookout that looks out over the entire city at sunset and it was very sweet and it was just the two of us and it was just it was perfect so that is everything from Italy I hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching thanks for sticking by me and I'm so sorry that it's been so long since I put up a video it was the traveling and then I've been sick for two weeks and it's just been you know how it is so I hope you guys are having a great day and I'll see you in the next one Bye.